Hey everyone, welcome to my channel again and today we're going to review the brand new GoPro Hero 8 Naked version by GepRC. As you can see they've done a really good job here with the casing and everything else. Looks really nice. You also get this kind of cheapish ND filter. You also get this cover for the back and the front, spare ones. Nicely in this box go like a screwdriver and some other bits and pieces in there. It does say 25.7 um, grams but in my opinion with the two scales that I've used it comes up about 28 grams. <laughs> so shooting modes you can do 4k 60, 4k 30 and 2.7k 50. You can actually see these on here on this screen here for anyone that hasn't had a GoPro before. You can see the details here you go a timer and you can see which mode you're in and how many files you've got on there already you can click you've got two main buttons here you've got the power button and the record button power obviously turns it on by long pressing it and then when you click it it changes the modes and then you just record and that's it really simple works really great in terms of quality I think it's built well from what I've seen I've used it over the last week and it's worked flawlessly for me one thing though I'm gonna warn you about is that GepRC has changed their warranty on this it was up for seven days and now it's three days so when you purchase this you're only getting three days warranty so you need to make sure you test it straight away as soon as you get it because they're saying there's gonna be no refunds no replacements anything like that after the three day period so the only other camera that I've had which I could actually compare to this is the small camera by Beta FPV and to be honest I really didn't like that one the first one I had just didn't work and then I got a replacement and the second one was really finicky sometimes it would just cut out mid-flight and I wouldn't even know sometimes it would cut out after 10 seconds other times just pressing like some of the buttons and trying to get it to work wouldn't work and wouldn't connect to the app properly it was just a for me it was a big headache this one for this whole week that I've had it it's worked great every time I want something done it just you know I've got the filming done and when it comes back I know from the screen that you know how many seconds in how many files I've got and you know all of everything's been safe in there so before we move on to the videos I'll give you a quick explanation of what I did the first couple of clips is a 4x3 no stabilization 4k 30 so you can see exactly what it looks like got a couple of different scenarios and then moving on to, from that I've got uh, another similar clip but I've done a stabilization with real steady go so you can see that as well so a quick conclusion for you I know it's a bit expensive but it's a great piece of kit you've got the screen on there to see what you're doing and it the quality wise I think it's much better than anything out there in terms of these newer smaller 4k cameras that you can put on there it beats all the insta 360 ones and then you've got another one coming up just recently by iFlight which looks quite chunky and I think it weighs even more as well but I don't know anything about that but to be honest with you GoPro has been doing a great job all these years and this one is just another example of a GoPro doing a superb job of filming. So if you're enjoying my videos please subscribe and like as this really helps the channel. Yeah.